a look at the inroads tracking command or commands because there are multiple modes and that can be found under the tools menu if I go select tools tracking and right at the top tracking I can activate that command and I'll see the information scrolls dynamically in the screen and on my cursor so I can track relative to my active horizontal alignment and it's really tracking two things here I've got a surface that's active it's reporting on that surface elevation as well as the northern easting slope station and offset relative to the alignment if I care to I can left click on my screen and drop that information in my drawing and there's maybe more information um, annotated in the drawing than I'd really like. I can control that by going to the settings button in the tracking dialog box. Whatever is enabled will be written to the CAD file. Now if I'm only looking for station and offset, I'll leave those set. You do want point and text activated. If you deactivate those, you're not going to get the point, which is represented by the cross, or the text. The settings for those can be found over here in the far right double clicking brings it up it gives you the text attributes and also the point attributes so you can see in this case the point we're just saying put a plus sign and here's the attributes for that so now that I've got a number of things disabled here when I activate you can see how it's cleaned up what's on my cursor I still get the full information in the dialog box but if I left click now it only gives me station offset for that particular location and again this was tracking the elevation of my active surface. Now the other mode is, I'll go back up to tools and tracking again, but this time instead of selecting tracking, I'll select horizontal alignment. Now when I track on my screen, I don't get a separate dialog box and the readout is shown on my cursor in the bottom of my inroad screen and in my microstation screen. And you'll notice that the elevation, this is a contour at elevation 800 here, is not reflecting the elevation of my surface. What it's doing is tracking the elevation of my active vertical alignment. So if I look at my geometry here, I've got a horizontal alignment along with an associated vertical. Well, it's tracking the alignment elevation. And I can also see the grade. So I can see the rise or fall along my vertical alignment as I track along my horizontal. So it helps me evaluate my design. And it also shows me the radius of the curves that have been used. Now it's a little bit different I, if uh, this is an information command. If I left click, that doesn't drop that piece of text in the um, microstation drawing as the other tracking command did. So that's the second mode. One more mode is, if I come back to my vertical alignment, there's tracking for that as well. So if I come back up to reselect the tools, but this time select vertical alignments, it tracks relative to my vertical alignment. I can see the station, the offset, you know, maybe I've got some pipes I'm looking at or some other crossing, like maybe utilities. But I see the elevation and the grade as I move along my vertical alignment. And as before, this is an informational command. If I left click, it doesn't drop it in the drawing. But there are other inroads commands that will do that for you, notably drafting and drafting notes. And you might have noticed that there's also a fourth option here is if I had cross sections, you could track in a cross section as well. So you can experiment with that. That concludes this tip. Thank you for watching.